Hey guys, and welcome to a very different type of video for my channel. So yes, if you read the title, I am going to be revisiting the first episode of the Walking Dead Tell Tale game. I'm very excited to do this. So if you guys don't know, uh, the game just hit its 10 year anniversary and Skybound is celebrating uh, 10 years um, of the release of this game, but uh, more specifically of Clementine, a super beloved character if you do not know who she is. And why I am revisiting this is I've actually played the first two seasons of Telltale originally when it came out like 10 years ago, or have, I don't exactly know exactly when the second season came out, but it was a long time ago. And it was one of those situations on my channel, uh, or I started my channel since then, and I never knew if I was gonna play the rest on camera or not, or if it was something that people would actually be interested in and, and all of that. I also didn't have a setup for, you know, doing it or anything like that way back when. Um, so I just never continued past season two, uh, and I've always wanted to, so maybe this might, uh, give me sort of the momentum to actually play through the whole thing, um, again, and that would be really, really exciting. But nonetheless, so today, I'm gonna play through the first episode, and, uh, just a disclaimer, I'm not very good, I will probably die a lot, um, but I... It's going to be interesting to see what I remember. I think there's something very specific that I re remember that is a very minor detail, but it took me forever to do. Um, so maybe that's what I remember, but we'll have to see um, what I do remember from this episode, what I don't. And I am so, so excited to play and do something a little bit different for you guys, do a different type of video. So I hope those of you... Uh, that love Telltale, or even if you don't, um, it's a really great, I, I loved the first season, I loved the second season. Me not continuing has nothing to do with that, it was just literally me being like, should I film it, should I not, and then I had that eternal question, you know, just ongoing forever. So, um, definitely check it out, and yeah, let's get into it. It has been so long. Also, disclaimer for a lot of you, I uh, have a lot of allergies today. I went out in the springtime and it just wasn't good for me, so, you know. <clears throat> Let's use my mouse well, or my keyboard. I reckon you didn't do it then. Uh... Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. Oh. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from making then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Uh -oh. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Be advised, uh, medical personnel and the heart steel, very 
I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. <clears throat> you meet your wife in Athens? You wanna know how I see her? <coughs> I got we're, we're gonna choice. be sassy. Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <laughs> Fuck you, Jesus. <laughs> <sighs> I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft oh eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. It's the apocalypse. And before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. That's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing Ooh. his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Oh, he sits wow. in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Oh. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one oh my god, dude. Oh. And a bit more hilarious if I ah! do say so. This other it? time... Oh, good lord. Lee. <laughs> Come on. Wake up, sweetie. Oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah. Fuck. <laughs> My leg. I, I don't think he fared too well. I mean... <laughs> but... Hey! Hey, officer! No, Are you I don't. Right? I'm still Lee. stuck back here. Lee, does he look like he's gonna talk to you right now? He does not look like that. All right, Let, let's kick it. Let's. We're just gonna keep on kicking. Beautiful. I need to drag myself out that window. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm playing with hands, guys. Sorry, I just can absolutely I need not. Need to drag myself out that window. Oh wait. What do I do? Oh, climb out window. I thought he was just going to keep repeating that he needed to get out of the window. Really want to look at the cop. The officer's shotgun is over there. What? Hello? Why would he have needed that? How does one pick it up? I don't know. Why would he have needed that? Son of a bitch. Oh. Oh, I guess it's this. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, it's been a long time. And I don't think I played it on a PC. Why would he have needed that? Oh my god! How do I do this? Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> I just want to pick up the gun! 
Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Okay. Oh, so I guess we Officer. have to... We have to go over there. Cool. Love that. It's moving right along. All right. Uh... Oh, can I not? God damn. I would assume that he has the keys on him. Does he not? Genuinely. Looks empty. Well, you have a shotgun shell. Be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Oh my god. See, this is why this is like so embarrassing. Officer. Okay. I think I have to position myself like exactly correctly towards the cop. Let's go. There we go. Keys! Take them! Oh lord. Gotta do everything. Lee! Next to the mouth! Next to the mouth, Lee! Okay, jeez. Nope! Nope, die! Die! Smash his head in! No, 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 no! I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! Oh, well, I'm dead. Okay, well, first death, guys. We did good. You died. It's gonna say you died. Oh, you are dead. Well, cool. Love that. All right. We're gonna try that one more time. Holy shit! Oh. What in the hell? What the fuck are you? Get away from me! Ah! Uh, what happened? What happened? Pick up. I swear, if you drop this shit, dude, this is so stupid. Put it in the gun. Don't make me do this. Do it. All right, jeez. Okay. So, you need to stop dropping stuff, Lee. I live for you, I love you, you're a king, but you need to stop dropping stuff because I'm just... The skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. That's lovely. What the hell is this? Okay. Can we move? Can we get out of here? Can we do something? No? Hold on. Am I just dead? No, I'm hey, really. Are you dead? <sighs> okay. Lee. Oh, something popped up. I don't know. <sighs> Lee, what are we supposed to do? I <laughs> genuinely have no fucking idea. I can't move. What the fuck? Lee! Alright, well this is gonna be me forever in this game. Oh, 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 there- Help! Oh, Clemmy! Go get someone! There's, there's oh, been a shooting! Oh, over there, Clemmy! Why, did, why is there more? Cool. Love that. Ah! 
leg the way it is. I don't think there's much outside. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Help! I don't really remember, to be fair. We're gonna go inside. <laughs> Let's go, friend. There you go. I wonder if anybody's home. I wonder well, if anybody's home. Oh. Are, hello? No? Okay. I wonder if anybody's home. Alright, so I guess we have to do something outside first. Somebody! Yell <laughs> if you can hear me! Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. That is what I'm trying to do, Lee. My God. All right, let's do a little bit of a... Tea sack. Let's just walk over here for... All right. We're going back to the glass door. Don't fall. Don't fall, sweetheart. Is there anybody here? Alright. We're gonna keep looking at this damn door. I wonder if anybody's home. Oh my god. What I do if I wonder anybody's home? Okay. I don't know. I can't look anywhere over there. Oh, I can... Oh my god, guys, this is so embarrassing. All right. Hello? Anybody home? <clears throat> I need a little help. Let's break in. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Sweetie. I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Look at that blood! Look at that blood, Lee. Ah, I guess we're gonna go look at the blood. Mm-hmm. All righty. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no! I just walked right... Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry, Lee. That was probably my bad. I probably should have walked around the blood. I would... I don't 
don't know if we should be drinking stuff that we just found, sweetheart. I'm just saying. Oh boy, we gotta open all these drawers. This is fun. A walkie! Oh my God, here we go. We're just gonna open every cabinet. <laughs> oh my God, guys. Oh, there was a BB. What's going on over here? We're gonna try to avoid the pool of blood this time. Oh my god. Uh, no! I feel like it's you're just destined to fall. <clears throat> something on there. What's that beeping? All right. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 1119 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Muria. Oh I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Clummy Clum? Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Mm. There's also blood on the floor, Lee, that I feel like you should pay a little bit of attention to. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Uh... Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you oh. see me? I can see you through the window. Hey, sweetie. I mean, one a million for good measure at this point. We killing, 
We're killing Sandra. Sorry, Sandra. Sorry. I didn't. I just. Oh. Woo! Okay. Man. That's how you get your heart rate up in the morning. Hi there. Did you kill it? Um. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have oh, you sweetie. No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't oh. know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. <clears throat> what should we do now? Uh. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Well, I don't think it's really safe in the day either. It's just stay close yeah. to me. I like being able to see things that are trying to kill me. Call me crazy. All right. Are we go? Oh. All right, Clem, you don't have to take off so fast. You know, I'm a little gimpy over here. <clears throat> Let's go find help. I can't walk in a straight line. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Oh, sweetie. I won't leave you, though. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. That sounds great, Clemmy. Great planning. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Uh, what are you what doing? Are you trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Mm. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Ah, this Sean is Green. Green. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Um. Uh, a neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for two hours uh -oh. is a mistake. I should remember that I said that I was the neighbor. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Oh, God. I love games that just make you do manual. Oh, let me sell big Clem. What a delight. What are you those guys? Neighbors too? Uh oh. I shouldn't have said I was the neighbor.
<clears throat> Sorry, guys. Allergies. Tough times. Hey, Sean. I'm gonna the greens. My mom is gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Bye bye. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. <laughs> You've brought a couple guests. <laughs> your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Uh oh, Clemmy. Yes. Okay then. Well, Thanks, Clem. Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, <coughs> it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up uh -oh. on the porch, and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Oh, great. Yeah. Uh, this is swollen to I hell. feel like I'm going to get a talking to by Herschel. <laughs> could be worse. It could That's be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. I'll be honest. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. After I lied about being a neighbor. <laughs> How'd this happen? I don't even remember. It's crazy back there in the city. Mm. It must be. What type of danger has the girl seen? I... Enough, the kind I guess. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family up here <clears throat> sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. And we're <gasps> I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't there think is. anyone knows how big it is yet. Mm -hmm. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. <laughs> Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Oh, Boy, her, Sean. Come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Dead people walking. by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If the leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay. That what a happen. jokester. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Uh... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Yes. Mm-hmm. I miss my mom and dad. Oh, I know, sweetie. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay.
I love you, baby. <laughs> oh no, not a bad dream. Please! <laughs> Good. Let's deal with some heavy trauma while we're dealing with all of this stuff. That's Hey, great. get up. Ah, sorry. <sighs> what an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. I'm her neighbor. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the fence. Ah! There's a tractor and everything. I. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. I have a deep love for Kenny. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. <laughs> Duck? Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? <laughs> That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Uh. Sure, we'll tag along. Yeah. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Oh, yeah. boy. Okay, well, I need duck. a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Okay, Doc. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Why can't Clemmy be the foreman? All right. Um, am I gonna? Should I you have talk to? Hey there, girls. Oh, okay. We're gonna check in with everybody. Um. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like mm -hmm. Herschel here, except oh. more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. Girl, I'm sure you'll have this. plenty of work. Or I no, didn't hear what she said. I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't Sorry, want to be ignorant, I guess. Um. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Oh. Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? Are those gone, what's the point? What is the point indeed? You I get I'll talk to her. look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> what? you good? And That's me talking to any kid. It's almost like we didn't I never know see what to say. people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. I learned so much. Okay. Who are... Who's over here? Oh, let's talk. Ugh. Hey there. The one and only. Kenny? Let's ask about his son. How's really your son doing? Good. good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. Oh! I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and 
Percival. Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. Mm. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I do not. No kids. Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. What so what's your family's plan? plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. All right. I learned about Kenny's boat. All right, so we checked in with them. Oh, is there somebody in the barn? Let me just double check. Because we need to check in with everybody. Oh, nope. Nobody's in the barn. Okay. Walked over here for no reason, guys. That's cool. Love that. Okay, who's over here? Uh... Oh, boy. <clears throat> Do I have to talk to Doug? <laughs> Sean's still working on that fence. Oh my god. Hey, Lee. That's pretty. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Lots of manual labor in this game, my god! My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. You gotta do what you can to survive. <laughs> Put a gun to that kid's head and pulled the trigger? Fuck that, man. He didn't even hesitate. Mm. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Yes. I bash some poor girl's brains in. Yep. Whoa. I did. I couldn't do that. I did that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um... My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. <sighs> all right, and Doug. Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Oh, I was just at the barn. All right, wait. First, we're going to talk to Doug, because I have to check in with everybody. How you doing, Doug? Good. Tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. There you go. Lift with your back, Sean. Oh my God, is that it? That that was it. The delightful conversation with uh. Yeah, I think that was. I think that was it. Can I go this way? Oh, thank God. I don't have to walk around the whole thing. All righty. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Ah! I'm getting I'm not read sure to Phil. Follow. 
How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got, I got a, a ride. ride. And then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents, my parents are we're just gonna talk about with my brother. Well, I hope they're family right. and Macon. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Okay. Can I give you a piece of advice? <laughs> I'll say sure. sure. I don't Mind know your who business. You are, what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Wow. Well, at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. At least I have that. Oh, shit! Go! I'll get my gun! The fuck? Oh, shenanigans. Okay, what's going on? Oh, God. Oh, help, Doug. Oh, shit. I have to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to help Doug. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Sean! Oh! Yeah, let's just keep punching it. Alright. I feel like we can't go over to help Sean. Go get a help Sean! Help Sean! Oh, Kenny. Oh, Kenny. Okay, we got help Sean. We're gonna oh no. Oh. Okay. Listen, I have my reasons. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Herschel. You know I love you. Okay. Yeah, we should we should go. We should Get we the go. fuck out of here! Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. Uh. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Okay. Get out! And never come back. Listen, I we were already slightly on Herschel's shit list. Okay. Um, we're all just gonna stare at that him. ride to make it if you want it. So I just helped save your kid. All right, Clemmy, are you okay? That was a lot. <clears throat> I'm so sorry I'm sniffling through this whole thing, guys. I know well, it's probably this is annoying. as far as we're going, and it's far enough. Hey there! No, 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 Kenny! Trucks run Kenny. out of gas. Kenny. 
Me, no, 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 no. Get out. Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. Ooh. They could be dangerous. Power struggle. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They were dying. Chill out, there. lady. Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. <laughs> just people trying to avoid those things. Just like you. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll oh. say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. Oh! You have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I I have to pee. Oh no! I'd go out there again in uh, a second. In a minute. Would. In a minute, Clem. I'm not gonna say just go, and or They've not got respond. Kids, Lily. Those things. That's right. Don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's, She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. There we go. Settle down. Okay. Holy shit. Everybody Son take it down a few. One of them is bitten. He, put... he wasn't bitten. Calm Hell down. We have to end this now. Ah, we and just saved Doug. Body. We'll dig one hole. No. I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Hey, hey, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle it. Ah! Oh, Dad. Oh, God. Kick his ass. I don't care. I don't we care. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Ah, yes! Kill them! Remember yes. that loyalty! Nobody's doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! He what is talking, talking about, like, He's bashing a That's kid's how head turn. in, so... I don't He's feel that bad. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Let's go. Let's Sit just down. keep threatening. That's it. You're going to whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. No, Little what? boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. What the I'm gonna fuck? I'm going to kill him, Kat. Just worry about It's a kid. Lee. Yeah? Clemmy, get in back there. over here. It's just locked. No, Who's it's not. Lee. Clemmy. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, There's too much going on. I arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in Exactly. Mark. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does? And if she doesn't, you're thing an asshole. Do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll uh, turn he's fast. He's a kid. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. Oh, that's not, not what I thought happen, that hairs. meant, but that's And we're okay. tossing him out now! <laughs> Hit him, Kenny! This guy out. Happily. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh man. Jesus! Oh my god, Lee, all you do is fall down. I love you. King. Amazing. But like all you do. Get away, you son of a bitch! Yeah, that's right. That's right. You get away. You, you get away. Oh my god! Is that that, is that, is that, what's her name? Shooting. Queen. You okay? Queen out here. Being a queen. That's great, thanks. Uh, guys. Good. Everybody down. Stay quiet. 
They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. Uh, we almost maybe died not. because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Oh my God. Was he the one bitten? <laughs> Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Let's be shady as fuck. Nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. What are we looking for? We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. Probably not. exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not yes, too far from Yes, you will. From You're so iconic. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd, be that'd be great. <laughs> well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know making. Yes, you are. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. There we go. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. Nobody asked. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. Yep. You got it, boss. Now get Ooh. him those pills. Now everybody's just listening to Kenny? I mean, I'm okay with it. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Girl, did you get to go to the bathroom? Hey there. Hi. Um, Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Oh! Okay. Oh, no, I hit the wrong wood! No, we're gonna... Wait, can we talk to you again? Can I get you anything, sweetheart? Get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Okay, we'll get I'll you a snack. Goodbye. We're gonna get you a snack. Okay. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Being Despite good is good. circumstances. Yep. Love Let me it. know if you need anything. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, the pills are in there. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Lee. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Okay. Is that it's it? It's not damaged. All right. Glad this place didn't get looted. Alrighty. We're just out here going to be talking to... I don't want to talk to little asshole over here. Maybe Lily. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. No, again, nobody asked what his I name was just is. doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. I don't care You're what's wrong here? with him. I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin <clears throat> stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. What do you <sighs> think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jesus. That they are. We need to stick together and get through this. 
Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dowd hauled them out because <gasps> they weren't really dead. Um, I'm going exit. To back to I don't care what's wrong with Sounds him. Good. Sorry. You guys can call me insensitive if you would like. That is your right. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, this is so stupid. <laughs> Examine ice cream menus. Hey Lee, maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. All right! There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank okay! You. Jeez. He was talking about bashing your kid's head in. All right. Okay, everybody. I'm the bad guy. How's Fuck. Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way uh, in here. <laughs> Little kid. How is she doing? Her family is dead. Jesus. She's good, I think. She's uh, a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's yeah. right. Not just any little girl can do that. Tough queen. Are you guys, you guys all right? All right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Oh, Duck! What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? We could, we could be... I, I know that... They uh, own this place. They uh, pulled some bodies out of the office. We can be honest with the fam. Before we got here, they're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, I, you know? I, I tried to move my mouse right on over there. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't oh. kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. <gasps> Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any <clears throat> choice. Yes. I feel like that. Trying to let it go. I think we. I mean, what happened happened, and it's horrible. But if he's already beating himself up over it, I'm not trying to be like, yeah, you should continue doing that. You're the worst. Like, I'm not trying to really do that. We just need moment. to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Not sure. That was it. Helpful. Photographs. All right, Doug. What's up? <laughs> Nothing. Luckily, wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh. Huh. Uh, okay, this is a little bit me cheating, but I think I need stuff before I go look around, so uh, we're gonna say not now. now. All right, let me know if you want to. Yeah, because I'll tell you, the one thing I remember, no, I mean, I probably remember, like, vaguely. I, I remember some stuff, obviously. Um, <clears throat> You're a pretty good chap. I think has to do with her. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. 
You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. Jeez! She was an asshole, but, <laughs> fuck you know. Too. <laughs> yeah. That guy saved you? Oh, yeah. right! Can wow, you we're just it? shitting on Doug! Or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. Oh, you can never Doug. tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Wow. Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, <coughs> let me have a look. Okay. Ooh. Wow, there's no, no batteries. batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Okay. Yes. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. So guys, the one thing I remember is searching for these fucking batteries and... Oh! Energy bar for Clem. Okay. Um, and it took me forever. It's so funny what you remember from games for what takes, uh, like, so long. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. We took care of Clem. All right. Now, if I'm correct, ha! It was on the floor. I remember that I spent so long around this fucking place because I kept looking on the shelves and like, I don't know why. I just didn't really pan down. And let me tell you, <laughs> It was There's crazy. no getting in there from out here. That grate does its job. Okay. Uh, is there anything over here? No. Do we have to go out with Doug? Maybe we do. Maybe that's the, the next, because I don't really see. Um. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Okay. Examine corkboard. I don't think that that's going to be anything. Oh, I already did that. Shit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. I guess we're going out with Doug. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? <sighs> sure. Let's have a look around. Okay. I can tell that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay. I can't reach that brick. <sighs> well, do I have to move? I can't reach that brick. All right. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. I can't reach that <laughs> brick. Sorry. I just... It's a combination lock. Well, do you know the combination? Back inside. Oh, okay. shit. I didn't mean to fuck. 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 So we need something. All right. 
let's examine the cork board again. There's no way. Let me walk over here quick. Clemmy, you okay? We're always gonna check in, see how Everything she's doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thumbs up, love it. We do a, a Clemmy check. Oh my God, Lee, all right. It's not Lee, it's me. Oh, here we go, let's go into the office. Yeah, this is going to be rough. We're going to go through some trauma, Lee, but we got to do what we got to do. Clem, why are you here with me? You to go be safe somewhere. I can't. <coughs> I can't think about them in here. All right. She still have to pee? Or is that just how she's standing? She's just awkwardly standing, okay. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. What's that? That's gonna help us reach the thingy! This the brick. That's Kane. No? Zip around here on it from time I think so. Time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. Yeah. Uh. Kane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Oh, so sweet. Sweet little Clemmy moments. We love it. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Yes, you ought. You ought to. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Yes! Sure. Of course! Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. Mm hmm. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I. Clint. Girl, me neither. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Great, Clemmy. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Uh... What do your parents do? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. Oh! You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <clears throat> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Oh! Jeez! I hope not. It's just uh, complicated. No, it's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Yes, yes. But my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? That's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. All right. Ow! Ah! Oh, Are you okay? No, I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. You're gonna be okay. I'll find you a bandage. Oh boy. All right. Well, that's priority number one. It's a first There's a aid kit. in there, I bet. Oh, good. I keep clicking look, 
<laughs> instead of take. Go get it, Lee. <laughs> Hooray. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about Sorry, guys. Really? Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Hooray! Took care of Clep. Priority number one. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I don't have the heart to be like, Lee? your parents might be dead. They'll, They'll find us. track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. I don't have it in we me to keep say that. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Exactly. Stay close to me until then, okay? Yes. Love that. Okay. What's over here? It's the remote to my dad's TV. Alright. Let's mosey. That's exiting. Oh god, I'm not sure if we want to look at the bloody... God. Not the trauma. Oh, the trauma. <clears throat> oh. Find anything? Wow, Carly, you're just right there. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Oh! You're Hello. Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. Oh! This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for <coughs> WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Wow, she's very cool with that. Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Uh... The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? We technically you told people will find any Kenny. reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan. You're insane. Not that... Whatever. Not the murderer You part. seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. All right. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Thanks. I'm not gonna... Don't worry about it. Like, randomly be like, I don't trust you, lady. Re-reserve that sass for... What's his name? Larry. That's what I figured. <laughs> okay. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Oh. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. All right. <clears throat> That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. All right. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. All right. Uh, I'm wondering if there's anything else we have to do in here. I don't. I, 
I don't think so at this moment. So we're gonna exit, possibly against my better judgment. Let's go, Clem. Get back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee. Yeah. <clears throat> You're not bad, right? I. Uh, no. Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. We're gonna be honest. No. She already he heard that. The... Oh. Was he bad? He was. I think there's a level. I have no idea how to talk to kids, but I think there's a level of honesty that's important. All right, let's get back over to Doug, shall we? I think. Oh God, I don't how know. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Oh boy, I have a feeling we're gonna do let's this a lot. Around. Okay. Okay. But I think I didn't, um, really examine everything. So we're going to do that right now. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. All right. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. Oh! That boy in the photo worked here. The oh keys being on the house is as bad as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Oh, great. Why? Can I just say? You know what I could do? What's that? Why do I have to go get the keys? Universal. I'm limping. To work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power is still on. And I move at a snail's pace. You can just do that. I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. We love a helpful king. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? <clears throat> I got a few of them to take notice. Great. But not enough. The brick! I can't reach that brick. Oh, do I have to go back and get the fucking cane? A few seconds of searching it, we'll know if he has the keys. I think that's what we have to do. Son of that's a it, bitch! I should have picked up the cane. Woo, guys. We got a mission. We know what we're doing. Hey there. Ah! This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, we have to go I save Glenn! I saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. <clears throat> so I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. He saved I'll a bunch Charlie of people. Dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. So do we head out first, or do we... Are we going to give another energy bar to Glenn? <laughs> oh, it's, there's not an option to give her. But let's check in. How you doing? How's your How's finger? Your finger Good. Sorry, I can't it breathe. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. 
good. Oh. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Yes. Okay, same. You're my guy? Oh, same. No, you know. We're going to try to Cute. take care of each other. Yes, deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. I think. I feel like we should try to get these pills before. <clears throat> Though, if I'm choosing Glenn or Larry to save. Oh, is it? Can we not get the cane? Oh, I thought that was the. Oh no, I don't. I don't know how to. Oh shit, it's a problem. I thought it would be the cane. That's the door to the pharmacy. That it is, Lee. Pills for Larry in there. All right, maybe we should head out. I don't. I don't remember any of this. Oh boy. <clears throat> All right, let's Carly. Where are you, girl? You still over by your radio? Doing radio things. Excuse me. Oh, can I? Not? I literally have to go this way. Okay. Um. Oh, I can give an energy bar to somebody. Okay. That's because we already gave one to Clint. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, we are going to go over here. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? It's not much, but here for the board. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Yes, we take care of the fam. Fam. Okay. Moving on over here. Let's talk to Carly. Let's go. Hey, Carly. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, what else am I doing? Just wandering around this place? Lord. Get down. Carly, you better have brought your okay, good. With being an amazing shot. <clears throat> did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man. Oh, glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Okay, uh, let's right, go. That wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Let's Not move yet. it. There's a survivor trapped up there. Oh, no, Glenn and your big go. heart. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Oh boy. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Oh, Think Glenn. About it, it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel. So Carly's distress. like, if it was me, I wouldn't be, like, trapped and... I'd be iconic and shoot bitches. That's what she's, that's what she, she would be. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. See? Noises Fucking ready. Things. Let's have a look around. Was she? She's gonna sh Okay. Are we peeking? Oh, we're. Okay, like that. Okay. 
Oh. So that doesn't have the same time limit. Oh boy. We can hide by that pickup. Are we get oh, we're gonna crouch. We're crouching. Don't worry, lady, we're here to save you. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. How about you look inside, Lee? I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Oh my god. Can I move? Okay. Aha! Found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Um, I don't think we should smash a window. Is that the option, though? I don't know. That's not a good idea. Ow! Hey, man, that drew some attention. Yeah. Be careful. I mean. Trying to punch out window. Okay, we get it, Lee. All right. So we have to get into this car. So are we just gonna... I guess we'll just mosey... elsewhere. Oh, great. All right. So, I'm thinking we can possibly, oh, we can go over here, let's see. Okay, not great. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gone and we can't use that much. I want to go back. We have to figure it out. We're going to need weapons. Okay. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Okay, so we need something. Oh boy. Ah! Oh my god, am I still gonna. Okay. Just, can we look down? Is there anything getting highlighted? If we go up. Not really. All right. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. We well, should keep looking around for weapons. <laughs> okay. You guys are very helpful. Thank you. We're gonna. Maybe do a little more of a thorough search over here. So, we know that there's a... I was gonna laugh if the door was open. <laughs> okay, so we know what's in there. If we look this way, what do we got? We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow looking near the front. All right, so we gotta kill you. He's not going anywhere. Okay. All right, let's go over this way. Their groaning attracts the others. There's a pig in the truck. There's a pig in the truck. All right, move. I'm done trying to punch that window. Son of a bitch, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hmm. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Um, we're just gonna, uh... We can do something with that car, I bet. All right. Wait for that fellow looking near the front. I think we have come to the portion of the program, guys, that is gonna be very long. Um... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I get, okay. 
I want to double check. Oh, why am I doing that? Craziness, Lee. All right, can we look in this camper, maybe? It doesn't seem like it's that. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Okay. What are we looking for, guys? I really don't know. What happens if it sees me? Do I just get to kill it and then we can look in here? Whatever, we're gonna try it. Cause I can't find anything else. All right, well that was the worst strategy ever. Okay. <laughs> uh, hold on one sec, guys. All right, guys, we are back. I took the opportunity to get more coffee because I have a feeling I'm going to be stuck here for a long time. You guys are probably so annoyed if you know what I'm supposed to do, but I literally have no idea. So I guess we're going to go back. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. Oh, fuck. Absolutely bananas. All right. So we look up. I We only have so much time. Oh, oh! There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Okay. Is it the pillow? It's the pillow. I... <laughs> Not what I thought, but... Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what all I All right, mind. the sass over here. The sass of it all. All right. So are we going back over here or should we go over? I don't know. I mean, this is the place with, we can hide by that with the weapon. So I think we should head this way. What are we gonna do? All right, so do we, are we going here? There's a pig in the truck. Yeah, move, sweetie. Love you. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? With a pillow? With tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I'm <laughs> done with pillows. The sass. All right. Uh. Okay. Wait. Wait. Get down. Oh my God! Wait. Oh my God! Okay. Jesus. Are we going to smother it? I don't remember this. Are we going to smother it? Get out your gun. But the noise. Oh. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Okay, fam. That was sick. Oh my god. That took way too long. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, let's push it, I guess. Is that what we're doing? Oh, it doesn't work. So we gotta do, we have to do other things. Probably. Okay. What do we got? Let's take it! Possibly could. Who knows? Oh. Okay. Oh! That was awesome. We need that hatchet thing. <laughs> Is that what it's called? I don't think so. Do we have it? Is a spark plug gonna work? Oh, that, I don't think so. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. 
porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Everybody duck. Hooray! Let's stabby stab. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. All right. So I guess we have to go this way. And we're just going to go stab some bitches. I assume we have to clear out everybody down here first. Oh, maybe that's why it ate me last time. Because I didn't have the stabby stabs. Yep, we, all right. I'll wait for it to get closer. Great. Why would you stab it there? Is that what I clicked? Maybe that was my fault. Sorry, Lee. Lee, get him! Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Oh, yes, we love, we love Glenn. Oh no, you lost it! Well, you can pull it out, probably. Did you Dude, get? where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Axe, not a hatchet. I don't know why I said hatchet before. <laughs> two more. That should help. Man, he's ready. We oh, we're going up the stairs. Why are you crouching like that, Lee? <laughs> Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Why do we have to do everything? Right behind you. Okay, wait. Before you get too close, let's... Uh, let me quit! Oh! Ah, where, where, where? Rad. Wow, we're just chopping off heads. We are just, we are decapitating. Former people. Okay. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Oh, oh my god. Go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. After We've got all a group of that. in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Are we breaking down the door? Well, I guess. What else are we going to do? <laughs> Stay away from the... Stop, just stop. I mean... Coming out. Listen. Listen. Hi, sweetheart. Okay. You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you. I said go away. Oh, fuck. I don't I remember this. <laughs> but you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Sure. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't Oh my like that. god. Glenn. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay. We'll leave. Yeah. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever After all that effort. Around. You have a gun. <gasps> so can I Jeepy jeepies. borrow it? What yeah. do you mean borrow? Give it to me. Um I can just, you know, end this and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to 
to be one of them. They're... they're... satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Sorry. No. She doesn't have... Look if she doesn't want to become There's one of those no things, that is her this. wish. I know okay. that I'm... Fine. I'm coming from an experience of having watched a lot of seasons of a lot of different versions of The Walking Dead. If that is her wish, I know Thank that it's a waste so of a much. bullet. I know how terrible this must be. But... We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? We need the gun. Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Yeah. Can't leave it. You two go on. And of course okay. it's gotta be me. Mr. Sure? Lee. Yeah. Let's I'll be sweet. You. You're a good man. Oh. Whew. Tough. Tough. But I don't know. If that's her choice, I feel bad. I guess that you could have left without giving her a bullet. Um, Everyone all right? And that yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine. Fuck us over later, yeah. but I don't okay. know. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Do we still have the hatchet? We do. Okay, so maybe that's how we're going to get the... Um, brick reaching the brick okay important priorities everybody who's got priorities let's talk to Glim. how's she doing everything okay mm-hmm okay good enough i would love to talk to you glenn you know you're my you're my everything but i uh let's go see if we could do how something we over here good want to go have a look around outside Let's, Let's do it, Doug. Okay. Well, I guess we could hatch it the fuck out of this. All right. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Okay, so now we gotta do this. Oh. No, I thought we had to take brick. That brick. Do I have to? Oh, oh my god, I gotta do everything. I thought we were gonna get the brick with a cane, and I guess that's that was stupid of me. <laughs> Quite an arm. Now's the time. Now it is. Can Doug go? Because, like, run. We're kind of um, limping a little bit. Keep an eye out. so sad. I'm so sorry. Hey, bud. Oh. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Oh! Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Yeah. I'm giving him his moment. I know we have things to do. 
Alright. Alright, time to... I know. I know. I feel awful. I feel awful! Man, Lee really goes for the neck. Okay, okay. We gotta do it again. On the head this time. Why do we, why do we keep going for the neck? Just one good whack to the head. I mean, this is so traumatic to do. Why, why do we have to keep doing it to the neck? Jeez. Oh, finally. All right, can we get these damn keys? Okay. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Obviously. Obviously. Run! Oh god. Oh, thank god I didn't have to do it. Man, that was close. But we did it. That's all that matters. Oh. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hurry. Oh no. Oh, I feel like shit's about to hit the fan and I never got the second battery. Uh oh. Whoopsie. He's okay. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. And Clay, Wait, where's Clay? Really honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I'm gonna take gonna that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Why is that door not locked anymore? Don't Shit. take our axe. Get on it. It's okay, okay Kenny. Kenny, second. you're allowed. You're okay. Stay okay. Away from the windows. Oh, fuck. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Oh. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Dad. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through shut up, this, Doug. You should know. Oh! She likes Doug! I know what? Huh? You said I should know. Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, then. She is such a good shot. Come in time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Okay. 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 Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck! Fuck! We found something! Yes! Clemmy, you're the best! Take it! Okay, we love you, Clem! Got 
Doug. We've got. I ha I. Uh, how do. Wait, what the fuck? I can't select. <laughs> Did I just kill all the them? <laughs> no, I have to. How do I. How do I. Yeah, okay. I have to. I guess it was the purse to save Carly. Okay, okay. We're gonna talk for a second. So I remember. I think I remember I saved Carly when I originally played this game. Because she's a good shot. She seems more useful. I feel like that's the way to go. Oh, I have to do this whole thing over again. Oh, fuck. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I was, I was panicking. I was trying to figure it out. That's my whoopsie-do. It's okay. It's okay. So, I'm wondering if I should save Doug... So if I do continue this, I would get a different experience. Or if I should... She's very... She's helpful. I'm not saying that Doug's not helpful. I, I feel like people are shitting on Doug for no damn reason. You know what I mean? Doug, come on, baby. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up right back. Do it fast. Okay. I gotta get my dad out of here. Oh, oh what do I do? Billy, Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I that door not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. All right. Stay away from the window. Oh, I'm still debating in my head, guys, what I should do. Okay, so. Let's go. Perfect. We don't make it through this. We're gonna no, use the same. We're not gonna tell him to shut up. We're not gonna. It's possible we're about to kill you. So. We will make it through this. Which it might be a lie. We don't make it through this. You should know. Ah. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Yes. Oh. Oh. Are you sure? Shit. Oh shit. I think I have to save Carly. I'm sorry, she's such a good shot. Yep. Okay. All right, clammy clam. acting like it's the worst thing in the fucking world to okay sorry sorry guys it's the worst thing in the fucking world to encourage kenny to hit him when he's talking about bashing his kid's head in what the fuck okay
Charlotte, Atlanta, or Orlando may become necessary in order to keep your safety of all citizens. Meanwhile, England, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Oh, Lee! I'm so sorry. Lee's been going through it! Okay. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. You do Sounds need to like go, babe. Happened there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. <laughs> you need to go find Rick and start your beautiful bestie relationship. We love it. Find your friends. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks. We love it. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, dear. Right. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Take care, Glenn. I thought he was about to read us to filth. He started to, but he, he reeled it back. It's okay. And he's allowed to. Glenn's allowed to read us to where, where, wherever he wants to. I mean, honestly, but okay. All right. Um, let's hey, talk to the bestie. Close call back there. Yeah. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. We will. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. We love. Oh well. Wait, I can't go over to Carly. I can't. Oh, I guess I have to go this way. I'm sorry, guys. I know that. How are you doing? Uh, part of me wanted to save I'm Doug. Okay. You know, considering. I do. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so happened pretty fast I know it's stupid we just met and he was such a it's just that I think that I liked him I'm sure he yeah, liked I'm you I'm sure too. he liked you too mm -hmm. <laughs> you better have anyway he better I'd rather have. be alone I think I understand wait Lee what is it how did you choose we both needed you. You picked me. Ah, uh, you're the better shot. <laughs> but also, I, I was, was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Yes. Me too, Carly. Me too. Me too. I'm sorry. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I don't know if I should have saved Doug, but... <laughs> Chuck, are you bothering Clem? What are you doing over here? Lumatron has this mini gun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. What do you want? The dinosaur was toast. But you know what? God. He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. Oh, it. Uh, it's okay, Duck. It's just. Oh, no. sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there I know. though. Yeah. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. It's okay. It doesn't make any sense. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. Uh, and now they're gone. It's uh, gone. Oh, my heart. Maybe we can find you another one. You're gonna be okay. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <sighs> Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. <laughs> what do you want? You like my daughter? <laughs> Her dad tried to kill what? himself. Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And okay. so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your eyes. All of a sudden you care about the kids. All of a sudden he's all about the hey, kids. Lee, do you have a second? <laughs> Oh, well, apparently I'm supposed to stay away from you. Does he think we like like her like her, or is My he just asking? would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Facts. Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. I doubt it. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Well, we don't really yeah, need the light you know, guys, to attract. It's going to be okay. I don't. It's not going to be okay. I don't remember entirely exactly what happens, but. Well, oh, that was it. That was it. All right, let's, oh, God, guys, guys. Next time on The Walking Dead. Do, do I want to watch this? Probably not. I thought we'd be Spoil fine if I survived the play walkers. This. I never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. Oh. You don't know me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. Oh, we God. We got food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Oh, Something's Katya, coming, you're Lee. just thick. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much the as best. The best. Now we're gonna take what we There's too many of them! We died twice. The second death was the stupidest death. Okay. Let's see. Um, you and 63% of, percent of the players were honest. Um, I guess I wasn't originally honest, but I guess when Herschel confronted me, I kind of was like fairly honest. Um, I just didn't know when they initially asked, like, I didn't want to be like, I'm just some guy. And I have this little girl. I don't know. It's just I, just, I may not have made the right decision um, originally. Uh, who would you save, Duck or Sean? I listen. <laughs> it's pretty. It's split. It's split. That's that's forty nine percent. That's not that. Here's the thing. Like. It just seemed, I don't know. I don't know. You guys know how I feel about the Green family and I love Herschel and everything, but I just felt like he was already like not about us. And like, I'm, I feel like I'm, it's always a good idea to take care of Duck 
because that wins points with Kenny. <laughs> Um, you and 48% of the players defended Kenny. What was, was that the, um, when he, uh, with like Larry, is that what they mean by that? Yeah, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm not going to feel like a monster or what I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should have punched him and not had Kenny punch him. But I don't know if that was an option. It might have been. It all went very quickly. But I'm like, but you know, I'm not going to be, but he's talking about bashing this little kid son who we just saved and everything. And it's just like without, or um, bashing his head in without like asking or like making sure that there's a bite. He's just out here coming up on... <laughs> This kid that we just met, but still, like, we just saved, whatever, and these people seem to be kind of loyal to us, and you're talking about bashing his head in. And you're getting all, all fucking bothered, and, like, I, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not going to feel bad about encouraging Kenny to punch him. Okay? I'm not going to feel bad. All right? Write down below if you think I should feel bad, but I do not. I do not. All right. Um, gave Irene the gun for, okay. So I was on the lower end, I guess the lower end of that, but it's a, like all three of these middle choices are super, I feel like, you know, um, in the middle. So 45% of the players gave her the gun. Um, that, <sighs> I understand that not having like an extra bullet is I understand the detriment of that you have to save all of your bullets and it is what it is and like I get that um but it I don't know I just felt like it was her final wish to not become one of those things and the the horror of all of that and as much as like practicality is super, super important. I just, I felt like I, it's what she wanted. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Dr. Carly. Okay. This was the big, and then obviously I originally got them both killed. Whoopsie do. Uh, just, I didn't know what to click. I kept trying to click on Carly and it wasn't, it wasn't working. Okay. Um, I believe when I originally played this and I, I semi remember that I had to make a choice there. Uh, when I originally play this, I believe that I chose Carly because <laughs> she's, I think practically it's, it's better. And honestly, Doug and both Carly are like good people. You know what I mean? They're like, um, they were good people. They were loyal. They were both helpful. Like, I think, uh, Doug was, you know, we more like heard about how he was helpful, but he was still helpful. So it's a tough decision to make. There's, there's no right decision. So I went with Carly because she is such a good shot. And it seems like even the, the conversation that we had where she knew the truth about us and she was like, I don't really care. Not my business. I just, you know, I just want to let you know that I know and, and whatever. And we seem to be on good terms with her. I am upset that I didn't get, I think, I, I think the thing that I missed was getting the second battery. So the radio, I don't know if that's going to come into play later or something like that. Um, I should have, uh, examined the drawers a little bit more. I was just more concerned about like the getting out to Doug and figuring all of that out. So, all right, click to continue. I don't, okay. So I guess that is it. Um, I really, really loved, uh, sorry, I'm taking down the volume of my headphones. I really loved playing this. I thought it was really, really fun. I remember, oh my God, the fact that I remembered, and it's kind of hilarious that I didn't get the second ba battery, but I was going to start this being like, look on the floor for the battery. Because I remember the first time I played that, I looked for that for a long, long, long time. And for some reason I couldn't find it. It was so funny. Um, it obviously took me a little bit to get the controls and it, I thought I'm really happy that I did. I was able to hover 
and I saw the pillow at that one part because the thing about like making these videos and making them entertaining for you guys, that's the stuff. I mean, if either if I like keep dying at a certain point or something like that, which they're not the most difficult, um, you know, controls or whatever, but either that or just like not knowing what you need to do next. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be in this like this little motel parking lot forever and nobody's going to want to watch this. And I was starting, I was starting to get stressed out. I was like, oh my God, this is like, has to be so fucking boring to watch me wander around and try to figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do when all I had to do was hover over a pillow. And so I think it was kind of long. So I apologize for that, but I just... But this was fun. I had so much fun doing this. If you do want me to continue the season, I mean, the setup wasn't like the easiest and I know that the lighting's not great here. Uh, obviously, this is not what I typically do, but um, I really truly loved it and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as well. Uh, if you'd like to see more or if this video does well, maybe I'll do the rest of the episodes this season. That might be something fun to do. Um, whenever I have time. Alrighty. Uh, I think that is about it. Um, if you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.